Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are going to be doing my easy everyday glam and I'm also gonna show you how I get my top knot. Okay, so first things first, I like to use this Garnier Micellar, I don't even know how to say this word, something water. This stuff is awesome. It makes my skin feel super soft and super smooth and it also removes all of my excess makeup that I couldn't get off. So I just like to do this and get everything off. And it also removes waterproof mascara. So if you have a hard time getting that off, this stuff is amazing. And it will get it off for you. So after I use my micellar water, I like to use my Pixi Glow Tonic. This is great to help tighten and firm your skin. And I use the same round and I just go over my skin. This stuff is amazing. I got it at Target for $25, so if you're in need of a new good toner, go pick up the Pixie Glow Tonic. So after I tone my skin, I like to make a little concoction of my moisturizer and my Pixi Rose Oil Blend. The moisturizer I use is the Benefit Total Moisture. It's good for normal to dry skin. It makes my skin look so flawless and it actually minimizes my pores. So I love this stuff. I'm actually out, so I'm gonna have to like dig at the very bottom. And then I like to use my Pixi Rose Oil Blend. This stuff is so magical. I use it at nighttime, I use it during the day. It just makes my foundation go on so smooth. And this is great, great stuff. If you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on oil, go grab this from Target. This again was $25. So what I do is add my moisturizer all the areas of my face and then I go in with like a few drops of my rose oil blend. I do one on my forehead, one underneath each eye and it's gonna drip down your face so and then I blend them all together and it feels like a dream on my face first time I used the rose oil blend I was like holy crap I'm gonna be so oily today this is gonna look terrible but it is the bomb I'm going to be using my professional first things first I'm gonna put this in the places where my pores are the biggest which is on either side of my nose right here in this area which is simply where every woman has really bad pores and I just use a little dab and I'm just gonna put that in these areas and blend it in with my ring finger. I love this stuff, it's amazing. It really does minimize the appearance of a yoga. So I'm gonna start off by using two concealers. I am so pale right now. I live in Florida, I don't know why I'm pale, but I am. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 10, which is light. And I'm going to mix it with my NARS Creamy Radiant and Custard. These are two of my favorite concealers. And I'm just going to, first off, put the Fit Me all underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to add a tad bit of the custard on top. It's a little bit more full coverage, so that's why I like to add it. And then I'm also going to put it down the center of my nose and on my forehead. And then I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques beauty sponge. And yeah, here we go. So how I blend out this is going back and forth underneath my eyes. I tap, 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 back and forth, back and forth. Do not press or swipe because you're going to have a really bad lines and it's just taking away from the concealer. It's not actually putting it on your face. Make these really ugly faces and blend that junk in. So 
So for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the color Barcelona, which is a medium color with um, olive undertones. It's really beautiful. And what I'm doing is just patting this all over my face. And then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. Yes, I just said fingers because all of NARS products are used to blend out with your fingertips. All their foundations, their concealers, it is insanity. But I just started freelancing for them and they told me you can't use brushes for your face products. And I was like, what? I've never in my life heard of anything like it. But these products are designed to be blended out with your fingertips. And if you've ever used a NARS product, try using it and blending it out with your fingertips. It is like magic. It is insanity. I've never seen anything like it. It is so beautiful. Like, I can't. It's so pretty. So, this All Day Luminous Foundation is for normal to dry skin. It is medium to full coverage. And it is absolutely Flawless. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using this every single day since I started freelancing for them and I haven't gone back to anything else. So I am simply blending this out with my fingertips. It's crazy. Next, I'm going to mix my Anastasia Banana Powder and my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm simply going to press this into the skin underneath my eyes with my Beauty Blender. And this is just going to set the under eyes so it does not move throughout the day. So I'm going to set my whole entire face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Golden, and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Powder Brush. And I'm simply going to set my whole face with this very lightly. I'm not going to throw a crap ton of powder on because it's supposed to be natural. And having a crap ton of powder on is not very natural. So I'm just going to sit. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows because they're looking a little ratchet right now. And I'm going to be using this new Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo in the color Soft Brown. It's a little bit dark for me right now, but it's because I'm so pale. And I'm just simply going to fill the underneath in the outer edge of my brow and then spoolie it out. And then on the other side, it has this little um, fill duo, whatever that means. It's like a smudger for your brows and all you do is go in and smudge it all. It's so easy. It takes like 10 seconds to your brow. You know, I said I wasn't have big dramatic brows, but hello, big dramatic brow. Hello, sad non-dramatic brow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this one dramatic. The other one is. Okay, so next I'm going to conceal these dramatic ass brows. And I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and Custard and this little bitty cheap 89 cent wet mop brush. And I'm just gonna go underneath with this. I'm not gonna go on top because I already have on my foundation. And I'm gently going to conceal these brows. Okay, next I'm gonna start contouring my face and I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. 
wall. If you've never used this, you are so missing out. Go buy it, just smell it because it smells so good. And I'm going to start on my cheekbones. I love, love this bronzer. It's really natural. Like I said, it smells like heaven and it just blends so nicely. And I'm using my MAC 109 brush to do this. Bronze my forehead, I'm going to use the same butter bronzer and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush. I like to use this blush brush to bronze my forehead because my forehead is so big. No, really, it's just easier to blend it out with a bigger brush, so that's why I like to use this one. I like to deepen up my bronze a little bit on my cheekbones, so I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Solil, and I'm simply going to add just a hair right on my cheekbone, just to deepen it up a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to use my all-time favorite mascara, and this is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. I have just been obsessed with this for the past six to eight months. I use it every single day and if you want to complete this look just with mascara you can you can add false lashes if you want to it doesn't matter whatever your preference is I'm going to be using the Tokyo Lashes in the style Hashtag Duchess. These are really beautiful lashes. I love the Tokyo. They're so beautiful. I'll link them down below. I'm just going to put these lines on my eye. Use your fingers, your tweezers, or whatever you like. I'm going to zoom in a hair so you can see me apply this lash. And first things first, I just set it right in the middle of my lashes and I'll let it sit for a second or two. And then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of attach the end and the inner corner. And then I'll grab my tweezers and kind of play with it a little bit more. If you're not a professional with tweezers, don't use tweezers. Use your fingers because you will poke your friggin' eye out. Okay guys, next is my favorite part. It's time to highlight my skin. And I'm going to be using my Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, my favorite. And I'm going to be using it with a F35 Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. First things first, I'm going to spray my brush with my Pixi Glow Mist. This is just going to wet the brush and make that highlight go on so smooth and so beautifully. So, simply going to spray it and then go right into the champagne pop. Oh, hello, how are you today? I'm great, thanks for asking. Oh, all the way down my nose. A lot of people are like, eh, it's so stupid. Why do you want your nose to glow? Because I want my flipping nose to glow. Leave me alone. And then I'm gonna put it on my upper lip. This is probably my all time favorite highlighter. It's so easy to use, so blendable. Becca and Jacqueline, you did a also, what I like to do with my champagne pop is put it in my tear duct area to give it a pop. And then I also like to put it underneath my brow bone. Just to make that pop too. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to be highlighting this much? I'm obsessed. So today I'm actually going to use the 
Alamere Beauty Cashmere. This cashmere color is just kind of like a beautiful corally orange nude and it's perfect. It lasts all day long. It's not going to move. It looks perfect if you like to overline your lips. So I'm obsessed with this. It's just so pretty. It's perfect for summertime. And I also have a 20% off coupon for you guys. So you will save some dollars when you order it. Now I'm just going to spray my face with my Pixi Glow Mist because I want to be glowy. It is summertime. I don't want to have that mattifying face. It's like, I have no hydration at all. So I'm going to use this today. Okay, so that is it for my natural makeup. Next thing is, everyone is constantly asking me, how do you get your top knot so perfect? It's not perfect. I literally throw this thing up. I'm going to show you what I do. Let me take down my tragic mess. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so all I do is get my little ratchet teasing comb. I pull up whatever hair I want in my top knot, you shall say. I tease the living crap out of it. And there is a no specific way I do this. I literally just throw it up, get my ponytail holder, grab it, and I just knot it. No specific way, I just literally knot it. And that's how I get my top knot. I pull out any hair that I want pulled out and that's how I get it. There's no specific way, just mess with your hair, get it dirty. My hair is like six days dirty now. That's really nasty, but hey, it works, right? Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on all of my social media accounts linked below. Have a great day.